I just got off my bike from a, about an hour and a half drive up to Brandon, Florida to see my buddy Dave. I got something in my eye. So I pulled up in the driveway quietly and I ring the doorbell and catch it on camera. How? He's expecting me. Let's see what happens. Hey, young man. <laughs> still alive. He's, st man. he's still alive. Still kicking. What is it, 93 years old? Uh, next birthday. Next birthday, really. <laughs> How you doing, my man? Good to so Dave and I, or Dave and me, whichever you choose, do you, do you remember, I think it was 2011. Yeah. What do you? Is that a pretty hibiscus? Yeah. Gee. Dave Dave is a plant maestro. We can make up a new word. You're, you're a plant maestro. <clears throat> it sounds good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. tour. I don't know what you, want to, what you want to go with. Anyway, if you let's just do a little. We'll do a little panorama of the yard. He's got the beautiful landscaping over there. And what, what's this? Your farming area over there? Yeah, that's the garden. Farming that's, area. That's the, and what are those things? What are those things called? Philodendrons. All right, philodendron. philodendron. So basically, everything that's out here has mostly been planted or maintained by the head groundskeeper, David. That's very true. Oh, you know what? You know what I want to mention really quick, Dave. Why? Why we're sitting here? Yeah. Dave has the honor of being in the very first John Swift blog. Do that's you know, true. Do you know that? Yeah. 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 That's true. So now I'm into like the 170s of vlogs. Yeah. But Dave was actually in my first channel, John Swift 200 channel, which is the first channel I started. David was actually in the first vlog. It was probably about three, four minutes when we were on the river. So I was thinking about that on the way up here. That you have the you have the uh, the distinction, distinction exactly the distinction of being the first person that I've ever vlogged with technically on a YouTube video. <laughs> Everything that he grows is like it comes from a nuclear factory or a, uh, like a nuclear power plant because like a normal plant would be you know three four feet high and his plants these elephant ear plants are like seven feet tall these things right here. They're like seven feet tall. The ones on my yard, they're three feet tall. And I think that those are the ones you gave to me. Yeah. They're still three feet tall. So where do you get your seeds? Is it a special area? Yeah. A special area that where they're irradiated? There was a Gilligan's Island episode where they <clears throat> received a, something floated in into the lagoon on Gilligan's Island. And they were... They had radiation in them, and everything grew really big. So that's why I always that's the that's where that joke comes from. Oh, I didn't know that. Fresh banana right off the tree. So I won't get cancer from eating them. These are, this Th is those all, are pretty good too. This is all organic. These are very sweet. Yeah. All right, chicken house. I think you can see them. So from my point of view, I was sort of the architect of the chicken house, and Dave was the co-builder. Is that True. correct? True. I, think you're, you're, I would say you're the designer, but I think I was more of the architect. Because where, where, what was the scrap that we got from the scrap wood? Oh, it was a porch. Like it was from a it porch, was right? From our back porch. We put a new uh, porch back there, and it, that was a wooden one. And so it, all this brown stuff we saved off that. And so that Dave and I, yeah, that was scrap wood, built this whole chicken coop. Since there's all these poles here, you can't see exactly what it is, but we had some existing framing, and then we just kind of put it together, right? Yeah. And I'm very proud of the whole thing. And it's been christened, I think, 1979, David, David <laughs> Lamont Chicken Ranch. Is this where the eggs come out? No eggs today. Not so that's yet. that's Too where early. you come and get the eggs. But it it from this angle it looks like a ramshackle, but it was very well designed actually. And Dave, you built the back area. No, uh, Here's the chickens. No raccoons Oops. have ever got in there. These are the Most chickens. Most people have chickens. The raccoons kill a few of them. You used to have those fluffy chickens. Yeah, they all uh, went to chicken, chicken heaven. heaven. That's so they they have a pretty nice pretty nice ranch out here. They got their little little house up here, and they got the little yard, and they're still separated because they fight. Or no, they're not. Separated, they're not separated because you used to have separate the old ones. 
And I got enough. <clears throat> this green gives them shade. They get some sun, but they're not cooking. So how is this roof holding up? Uh, it's just started leaking. And no. I had to deal with it. But we built this roof almost bulletproof. The screws we put in that thing. Yeah. The, 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 if, if there was ever a storm, the, the roof would lift off in one piece, but the chicken ranch would be level, but the roof would be intact <laughs> pretty much, right? That's how many screws we put in the top of that thing. We had these, like, really industrial strength screws. That stuff which lasted about uh, five years, 2011 to, until now. Six years. Yeah, so the chicken, chickens, are you, how have you been existing in here? Good? These birds are... Probably three years old. You guys happy? Have they got names? No. No names. They're nameless chickens. <clears throat> oh, I never, but I never got that. I've never seen it. Okay, tell me that you've ever seen a banana tree that big that's two years old. We've got two year old banana trees that are still like three feet tall. D David, you have to tell us your secret though. Just I bring in I bring in a trailer load of horse manure a couple of times a year. Put it right over there and it deteriorates. You can't tell that isn't just soil. That's horse manure that's deteriorating. That's the secret to gigantic really? banana Organic. trees. Gigantic. Organic farming. Look at those. I don't think I've ever, ever even seen that many bananas on one stalk before. You know, I usually see like just like one clump, but I don't think I've but seen that many. Healthier. That group up there, that group, that's only half of them. I've been cutting bananas off of there. Once a week, I cut off. I go up and I cut like the it's... top hand off. Yeah. And take it in and let it ripen, and then I cut the next one off. Because I, I can, you know, what are you going to do with 40 pounds of banana? So one thing I did want to add about this chicken coop here is that when I came here to do it, I had just had foot surgery on my toe, and I was limping around with a bandaged foot. I think it was like a week after I had toe surgery. Yeah. I still had the bandages on from surgery. And we were on the roof of this thing, hobbling around. And it, it wasn't in pain, and it didn't really cause me any discomfort. But it was just kind of funny that you didn't have to go back I had, to work at that point. You yeah, know, I had sick leave or right. something. I had the time, so it was like, hey, why don't you just come up and hang out for like two days and help me build a chicken thing? And I'm like, okay, I guess. really, that's how it happened. It sounds like a great idea. You know, I've, I've never built a chicken ranch, and I don't think that you've ever built a chicken house so the fact that it's actually still standing and it's not in rubble is a pretty good testament to two dudes that sort of can build stuff right <laughs> we sort of yeah that's a pretty good description right? two dudes that just came out here with no knowledge and we built a successful and the chickens aren't complaining i don't hear them complaining so it's all good yeah they're happy so this is spinach but it's not the typical this is called one that you buy in the store it's a no, different it's a vine type thing this that net over there was 10 feet high. It she goes had to get on a ladder to cut the <laughs> leaves off. So I put this one in lower so she didn't have to get on a ladder. So if I saw this out in the woods, I would just think it was an old weed. Like I had, I would have no idea, but this right. is actually spinach. And what would you say about the taste? I like it. And of course we eat it fresh. It's not frozen. Right, ready. so would this be like a fully grown leaf right here? That's what you would eat right there? Well, you'd read them this size on oh, up. Oh, small ones, too. This size, you throw in a tall salad. W what kind of net? Like, where would you get that net? Um, Home Depot? Yeah, I, I actually bought it online. It was hmm. super cheap. I don't think I've ever seen somebody use netting. 